Greetings Internets, Thinker2112 here at 1415 Eastern Daylight Time on Saturday the 28th of April 2012. Let's play Plants vs. Zombies and I realize I'm gonna have a lot of money coming in here. First we do that. And then we do that. Yeah, 8,000 is a standard price for all plants, all, um, what am I saying? All plants that go in the regular Zen garden and are not marigolds. Okay, this makes me feel better at what I was going, about what I was going to do. I was going to buy a couple of things and now I'm definitely going to buy them. Two things that will make it easier for me to get money, especially off screen. The Golden Magnet, which picks up all coins automatically, and diamonds. Which is interesting, because coins are generally made of non-magnetic metals, at least in my experience. And I'm also going to buy Stinky. Okay, anything else that I should buy here? I could buy any of the other plants other than the Imitator. But I'm going to hold off on that for now. I really want to buy the golden watering can because it'll make taking care of my zen garden a lot faster. So let's see what Stinky does. Stinky basically just collects coins for you. Um, that might as well spray these. Now that we have Stinky here. Stinky's actually a lot use more useful in the iPhone version because he keeps collecting coins even when, um, even when the, uh, like, okay, look at these two coins. I'll go back to the main menu. At 26,810. Uh, yeah, in the iPhone version, Stinky keeps collecting coins even when you're not, um, on that screen. In this version, you have to stay on that screen for Stinky to keep collecting coins. You can just leave it on that screen, but... I mean, on the iPhone version, actually, he collects coins even if you are, even if you have the app closed. Um, he'll fall asleep after a little while, but, uh, you see, he didn't collect any coins. And I still have the same amount of money, so you can see that he didn't. Um, you'll notice that he's kind of slow, being a snail, and he'll also be back to sleep pretty soon. There is a way to fix that, which I will demonstrate soon. For now, let's continue with the adventure. I'm going to make an effort not to tax my voice too much early in the proceedings this session. I'm going to demonstrate the Golden Magnet this time around, because... It's going to be one of the easier levels since it's the first level of this world. Of course, that means I have to use up all my remaining slots, because I need the magnet shroom and I also need the coffee. But, hmm, that's a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. You know, maybe I'll demonstrate this on a nighttime level. Or I could just do away with the torchwood and... Yeah, I think I'll do that, because I do need the lily pad. It's been a while since I've played this, but I don't think I'll be too rusty. I also just realized that I don't have potato mines. Good thing I have the regular pea shooters.
Yeah, again, because I'm demonstrating the golden magnet, that's three seed slots I have to use up. But I'm getting my sunflower operation up pretty nicely anyway. Well, maybe that's because I'm not planting marigolds yet. I will plant them, though. Because the golden magnet is really not that useful if you don't have any marigolds. I'm not going to let the stupid ducky tube zombies take catch me off guard this time. So it's getting to be the end of April, and I am currently wearing a long sleeve shirt. Here we have had an unusually warm winter, and so far an unusually cool spring. Perfectly logical. Of course, whenever someone point, when, whenever someone uses evidence of unusual weather over a short period of time to say that climate changes or isn't happening, I'll say you know you, you can't really you can't really tell long-term trends in weather from what happens over you know a month or a season or even a year. Because weather is just naturally variable. That's why we have, you know, that's why we put so much work into trying to predict the weather. Because we can't just know what the weather is going to be by looking at the average. Okay, I'm going to have to hurry up and plant some marigolds here. Otherwise the level's going to end and I will not have demonstrated the use of the golden magnet. This should be well defended enough, I hope. Alright, if you're going to use the golden magnet, I'm pretty sure that you only need one, and that'll do everything you need it to do. Once you've planted one, don't bother collecting any more coins, because it will collect them all. No matter how many. Yeah, I'm I'm having to I'm having to make myself not collect them because my first instinct is to get them as soon as they as soon as they appear. We may have a problem in this lane. I can fix that. Now the golden magnet will not will not get rid of stuff that, you know, zombies are using. So it cannot help you defensively in that way. So you do sacrifice that when you make a magnet shroom into a golden magnet. That's why I don't usually use it. Okay, now we'll start to see the effect a bit more since we'll get more coins from these marigolds. See, it doesn't pick them all up immediately. It just picks them up at regular intervals, and at those intervals it picks up every one on the, that's on the screen. And those intervals are short enough so that no coins will ever disappear. Okay, I went a little light on defenses in this level, so I could demonstrate my new toy. 
fortunately, the zombies didn't, you know, lay it on too thick. And those last few zombies didn't get placed too inconveniently. I think I'm still gonna plant a tallnut here, though. Now what would be really handy if you could convert unused sun at the end of a level into money. That tallnut isn't looking too great. Let's help it out. I made a good amount of money, almost, yeah, I made more than 1500 off of that, more than 1600 I think. Hmm, well this is an interesting setup. One thing you really have to do in the Crazy Dave run is if you don't get the plants that you want, you really have to take full advantage of the ones that you do get. Which may mean changing your strategy. I think cattails will be useful here. Just regular magnet this time. You know, a twin sunflower would probably help too. Because my primary weapons are going to be the melon poles. Which cost a lot. The garlic in the cattail will ensure that I don't get caught off guard by zombies in lanes that where I'm not expecting them. Yeah, I had a feeling this would be three or four flags. <clears throat> And again, I don't have a potato mine, I guess I'll just use these early on. A cabbage poult gets rid of a zombie at about the same speed as a pea shooter, because it shoots more slowly, but it does more damage per shot. You may hear the garage door at some point during this session. My mom did say that she was thinking of going somewhere soon. Could plant a twin sunflower. Feel like it's a bit too early. I need the sun for other stuff. That's not going to be enough. Interesting thing I've figured out. Um, when a uh, conehead zombie loses its cone, it does not have 10 hit points remaining, it has only 9 hit points remaining. Not that that will make a difference in most circumstances, but now and then it may. Okay. Now's the time for those. You know, if I have enough magnet rooms, I may not even need many melon poles. Because there aren't a lot of zombies 
here that will that have many hit points after their metallic objects have been removed. I mean, the cone heads are the worst. And I wondered why that newspaper zombie had not gotten angry and started going faster. The answer is that because I'm attacking with catapult type plants, it's just going right past the newspaper onto his head. Okay, time to begin the magnets. Before they begin the metalheads. I guess I won't need that garlic, at least it doesn't look like I will. Oh, of course, I've put the magnet in the wrong place. Not that I would have known it was the wrong place. Sadly, there is no equivalent of the golden magnet to catch all the sun. That's not as big a problem, though, because most of the sun will be coming from one area of the screen if you have things set up like I do. I think those twin sunflowers were a good idea. I'm planting lots of pricey plants near the same time. I'm not going to do that many levels this session. I may get through four, but maybe not. It's partly because I spent a few minutes at the beginning. Well, if I only get through three stages and it looks like I'm getting close to the end, then I'll read some more entries from the Almanac, which I just realized I didn't do at the beginning of this session. Okay, I need to make sure that doesn't happen again. Need to defend those two pool lanes a bit better. That'll help. Okay, once I get that one more melon pulp, I'll have pretty much what I want to have. Then the rest will just be upgrading and replacing whatever I can. Don't think I'll even need to do that much, though, because getting to the end here. As long as there's nothing especially inconvenient that pops up here. Well, that is not ideal. Especially not that cone head. 
which unfortunately got to my melon pole. No worries though. 